Hey Earth Signs, Taurus, Cappy Virgo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a weekly reading for you, so we'll see what's coming up for the week ahead. Um, it is for Taurus, uh, Capricorn and Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, uh, or to anyone dealing with a Earth sign romantically. This reading can certainly help um, you in your current situation and see what's sort of going on with Earth signs um, independently as well. Um, before I begin, Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'd love to have you on board. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see the week ahead for Earth signs. What is the overall energy for Earth signs? Okay, overall energy, King of Cups. Emotions are certainly taking over here. Strong Pisces is coming through potentially here with the King of Cups, but I feel like... um. There's some sort of climactic peak. I feel like there could be an emotional connection that's really deepening. But I also feel like there's uh, a confession that's coming up. Now, I also feel like I'm getting creativity and love are connected together. So a lot of you, through creative pursuits, you might be connecting with someone special. Or I feel like someone's going to do something really special here for you. But it's sort of creative. So like, if they're really good at taking photos, they may make an album for you. If they're an artist, they may draw a picture for you. Like, it's something creative that someone's going to do for you. And it's sort of like an expression of that love with the King of Cups. I'm also getting, like, suppressed emotions here. So I feel like um, Earth Signs, I'm seeing a lot of subconscious activity that's coming out here for you. So things like uh, uh, subconscious activity, things like um, dreams, uh, visions, premonitions... Anything like this is really powerful here for you at this present time. So look out for that because I feel like the week's going to carry a lot of emotional messages. It's sort of like your higher self is trying to recharge. Is try but I also feel like it's your intuition here as well. It's trying to tell you something about a particular connection. But I really feel like um, creativity and love are going to be huge things for you. Uh, this week okay three of wands she looks to the king of cups so there's a fire and a water sign connection maybe okay some of you have multiple options that are coming up in the cards got the page of pentacles could be a younger person younger and older someone's more emotional ready emotionally ready king of cups is emotionally ready more than the page of pentacles okay Earth signs, you could be coming up as the Page of Pentacles here, though. So what I'm getting is something is in its early stages here for you, and you're happy to sort of go along with it without too much commitment. I am seeing multiple options coming up, one of which is like lives further away. I see some of you traveling for love or traveling for creative pursuits. So I feel like um, you're either connecting with people online, connecting with people from different counties or cities, uh, you're sort of getting out there, um, getting out into different different areas, different places, etc. So I don't know why, but I'm sensing a long distance lover could come back into the picture. Um, there might be a suppressed feelings that suddenly need to come out and they may just pour it and, you know, lay it on super, super thick. Um, it could be very sudden and very unexpected, uh, but I feel like that's coming through. And I do feel like with the Four of Swords... I feel like you might have been in no contact with this person and now they want to come back. Now, they have options too as well, but I feel like someone still prizes you more over any of their other options here, Earth Signs. Um, the Queen of Swords is here, which tells me you're not going to be too chatty or you're not really going to be buying into what they're selling here, Earth Signs. You're sort of going to be suspicious of what they've got. You know, you you sort of, you know this person quite well, especially if they've been like really wishy-washy, like a fish out of water. You know, Pisces can be this way. So if they have Piscean energy, like a Venus in Pisces or something, that sort of makes sense. But, okay, so they've been wishy-washy and I, I'm getting a sense that they've done this to you before. They may come back into the picture. Um, it could be that you're traveling or sort of exploring or connecting with people and trying to um, like build 
profile connections or networking type of thing that could be really big for you and you could connect with someone who's further like further away there might not be much in communication but i feel like you will make at least some connection so that's going to be something in its early stages here for you which is good um, some of you i see you making travel plans it could be for love or creativity though it's one of those reasons um so i feel like that's that's going to be big you're either making these plans these plans are going to pop up very suddenly very unexpectedly um that's sort of the vibe uh that i'm getting so four of swords queen of swords okay if those of you that are dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius this person i feel like is going to go silent on you i feel like queen of swords are not going to be very chatty you might see some odd behavior four of swords tells me they probably want to back out of the situation they might be hesitant i feel like someone might do a bit of a disappearing act wouldn't be surprised if if this air sign goes to you altogether um give them time give them space I have a feeling they'll pop back up eventually. Uh, okay, with the fire sign here, I'm getting that this fire sign has options. This fire sign may be a bit of a player. This fire sign could have someone else that's further away, like a long distance lover. Especially if this person travels a lot, chances are they've got different romances in different countries or cities. Now, not for all of you, but I definitely feel this person, this fire sign has to keep their options open. Again, I don't know if they're like, if they're traveling all the time and they can't really have like, connections um, because they're always in different places so for them it's more of a fast-paced thing um, but there could be like a fire sign long distance lover who's thinking about you um, king of cups like there's a lot of suppressed emotions they may be dreaming a lot about you and these sorts of things um, if you're dealing with a water sign I definitely feel like this water sign is falling in love or, or getting very much attached to you um, I feel like that's the person that may be doing something really sweet really thoughtful for you um, could be the wishy-washy energy too. Pisces could be could be a Pisces, okay? Um, Cancer's moody too, though. Sometimes they change their minds. Um, Scorpio, maybe the less moodiest out of those three. Um, but I'm going to put it out there. Uh, for those that are dealing with an Earth sign, so fellow Earth sign, Taurus, Capi, Virgo, um, I feel like this, too, this person is sort of taking things day by day. They're not really making huge, huge plans with you because they're trying to, like, Something is in its early stages here for them, so they probably want to take it slow. Uh, I also get like they're not really familiar with someone like you. I don't know why I'm picking this energy up, but I feel like they're trying to be on their best behavior because they haven't dated or they haven't experienced anyone like you. So they're trying not to stuff up about a situation. But they're very attracted. They're very fixated. I don't feel like they have eyes for anyone else. I feel like they're pretty fixated on you. Um, but I feel like... This person, yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of cautious at the same time, though. Um, okay, Earth Signs, I'm going to leave it there. Really cute reading, actually, but um, I do hope you've enjoyed it. I do hope you have a wonderful week ahead, and hopefully we shall be in touch again very soon. So um, lots of love. Please take care, and bye for now.